Minister of Steel Development, Prince Abubakar Shwaibu Audu, says a 10-year national roadmap plan for the country's steel sector development and a three-year plan to revive Ajokuta steel complex will soon be unveiled. The minister, who made this known during an interactive session with newsmen at the ministry's headquarters in Abuja, noted that Nigeria's abundant mineral resources holds the key to reshaping the nation's economic landscape and extending the benefits of democracy to every citizen. Clevy News' Imefono Kon was there and now tells us more. According to the Minister of Steel Development, Prince Abubakar Shaibu Audu, President Bola Metinibu created the Steel Ministry about five and a half months ago with the mandate to revive the nation's steel sector, particularly the Ajekuta Steel Complex, which is the flagship project to be the basis for the industrialization of Nigeria. He also noted that the country was ready to take a leading role in the steel market across the globe assuring that this was part of the present administration's effort to encourage indigenous steel companies. Uh, so the mandate that the president has given us is to do some homework, try and revive the industry. It's a difficult task. And there are certain things that we plan to do, you know, over the next several months and several years to achieve uh, this objective. Number one is we want to create a 10-year roadmap for the revival of the steel industry, steel and metals industry, non-ferrous metals industry in Nigeria. Um, in addition to that, we would also put together a three-year roadmap for the revival of the Ajokuta steel complex. Part of what that would involve would be to concession the Ajokuta steel complex to people that have the core competence to be able to get the job done. In a response, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Mary Okbe, said the federal government was working in the area of training more artisans to prepare them for employment or business in the industry. We have uh, something planned. We have a training institute in Onicha where you can train artisans and then enable them to start something. Because even when you go to China, those that are running steel companies are not, they are not graduates per se. Some people, they just take that line of action. So as we're planning to have uh, steel industries, we also need certified artisans to work there. So we plan to have uh, ISO certification for the MTI and then get people, I mean, the young people to train. Those, it's not everybody that must go to the university. Those that don't want to go to and want to learn hard work, uh, hand work can go there and get certified ISO certifications. And uh, not even ISO, yes, yes, who have yes. jobs that not, uh, uh, there are certifications, you know? So we have that on the plan and that's, that, that will benefit. There are people who are good with their hands and we'll make sure that we'll open it up it will not be man no man by the grace of God. Recall that years ago, after the Ajekuta project was flagged off to be the bedrock of Nigeria's industrialization, not a single sheet of steel has been produced because its completion and operationalization has remained a mirage. Imefon Okon, reporting for Clevy News.